Howdy, how are you doing? So, before you even receive this reading, you need to leave that anxiety at the door. Depression? Don't know her. When it comes to receiving a reading during this time frame, you're just vibing out with me. We're just hanging out, so. Hey girl, beautiful Aries, how are you doing? My name is Simply Velka, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly general tarot reading, Aries. Uh, so if you find any cards that resonate with you in this weekly reading for you, Aries, be sure to let me know uh, in the comments below which tarot cards resonate with you and how they do, because that's how I keep up with you, Aries, just in the comments below. As well as that, I'd like to ask you if you just enjoy this reading or you just enjoy my vibe, Aries, I would appreciate it if you were to give this video a like and subscribe because it does help out my tarot reading channel a lot, Aries and I always am super appreciative when you guys take that extra step to support me in that way um, <clears throat> as well as that Aries before we get into this reading I just want to say when it comes to my weekly readings take everything with uh, a grain of salt right put it in perspective I'm just man reading some tarot cards to you these cards resonate with you in whatever way that it correlates in your life I believe that tarot cards are here just to give you some food for thought a perspective to consider but never making the choice in your life Aries because it's your life to live not mine not these tarot cards or anything like that right you know your situation better than anyone else so uh let's just get into your weekly reading Aries starting out with your objective card now your objective card is the energy that you're going to overall just be in this week um uh, just through like the everyday uh, events of your life and so for you guys Aries you guys have the three of wands so really good card to have let me break this down as to why right what does the three of wands even represent Aries um, the three of wands is an individual who is uh, looking out into the horizon Aries and so they're able to um, eh, I guess usually this would depict someone who I would say I kind of like to imagine this individual who has like taken refuge somewhere for a moment, right? Or kind of like imagining like someone that's been in a ship for a while and they're looking out into the distance and they see that they can finally start seeing land areas. Um, so that's kind of how I like to see this card. I like to see this as someone who's been on a journey and now they're looking out. They're finally like seeing like the light at the end of the tunnel almost Aries and so when you have this as your objective card this is like you're finally going to um it's going to be something where it's just like you, you can almost start tasting what it is uh, that you've been working so hard on Aries things that you've been investing a lot of energy into normally Aries this is usually something that you already have actively been working on right this isn't like an energy something that's catching you off well I mean I guess the sight of seeing land right can catch you off guard but it's not a what's being shown to you is something that you've been kind of probably working towards for a while now Aries so having this as your objective card beautiful right this is the word a week of where um spirits letting you know Aries that uh this is a week you're finally going to start seeing some sort of progression into your in your life in some way right let's pull some clarifiers see if we can get any more detail on this uh, I guess we're taking these cards as well so let me get these cards right for you Aries uh, let's get into these clarifiers for your three of wands Aries we have the three of swords for you as well as the wheel of fortune coming in with the eight of swords and then the nine of cups beautiful cards Aries so what is it that you're going to start seeing the results in right so the wheels of fortune well this is going to be an important factor for this week for you because I feel like the wheels are finally starting to turn in your favor a little bit um in what way Aries this is where we have the eight of swords coming in here this is where this is paired with the uh fear swords as well there has been now usually um Aries three of swords represents pain it's usually the most unpleasant card to get um whenever you see it because it is just like you're experiencing some type of pain and the eight of swords is like an individual who's feeling trapped in a situation of some sort and so when you have these two in a paired like this it seems to me um Aries like something that you probably yourself because usually the eight of swords is a card not necessarily where it's like 
um, you actually are trapped in a situation, Aries. It just feels like it yourself, like you're kind of telling yourself. It's one of those, uh, you know, those scenarios or those videos where you'll see someone freaking out, feeling like they're drowning, Aries, and then like they just like have their feet planting on the ground and they realize it's only like two feet of water, right? It's very much so in this dynamic, right? Because if you just removed uh, the blindfold, this person could easily see, they could just step over. So this is why I kind of feel like this is more so like an internal thing. Um, I'll just go like the easy route just for the simplicity of the message. I'm not saying it's a thing for all of you guys, but it could be like a sense of insecurity, right? It's something that like keeps you back, but still kind of like brings you some type of pain. Uh, this Nine of Cups also talks about like self, is referring to the self, like your self-fulfillment, um, your emotional contentment, how you are feeling mentally, um, how your heart is feeling. So with this one, it's not usually involving other energies. It's about yourself. Again, Aries. So I definitely just see a lot of progression uh, for you guys. It seems to be like um, this sense of feeling trapped is being lifted. With the Wheel of Fortune coming in for you, Aries, this is letting me know um it's just starting progression is starting to happen um in this way uh so you know this kind of leads me to believe either you yourself have been just working on this already aries uh right you could already have been in this progression of like shadow work for example aries and so like you already so this more so comes in as an affirmation message where it's just like yeah you just been doing the work right but for many you of you, Aries, I do kind of feel like the sense of like seeing the light at the end of some tunnel or seeing some sign, right? Of where it's going to like, dare I say, like just bring such a sense of relief, um, stress being just like lifted off of your shoulders. I feel in some sense uh, it's coming for you. Uh, Aries, and I feel like that's what's giving you the kind of like continued freedom to, uh, you know, it's kind of giving you like renewed strength, renewed hope in some way, if that makes sense, Aries. So good cards to have, good cards to have, right, Aries? Um, so now let's get into the actual tarot. So, I mean, I guess we technically already started getting into tarot, but let's get into like the actual spread of things for your weekly message, Aries. Um, so starting out, we have the energy that you've been working with, have been continually working with, Aries. So this is the Magician card. This is like the past energy that uh, that you've been working with. So when it's the Magician card, you guys have been actively working towards something. What is it? I'm not quite sure. Let's see if we can, like, we gotta get some clarifiers, right? Uh, there's definitely something that you've been putting a lot of energy towards creating, right? Because that is what the um, Magician is the representation of. He is the archetype, or they are the archetype of um, someone who's actively trying to uh, constantly create their own reality, which it would make sense with the three of wands as well. Like you're just starting to see the fruits of the, your labor, something that you've been continuously putting energy into. So the clarifiers that we have for your magician card, Aries, is the death card coming in here with the four of wands, as well as the page of swords. So, oh no, I think we have more, another one here. With the page of pentacles, Page of Pentacles? Yeah. And then, yeah. So you have four clarifiers. <sighs> Let's break this down, Aries. So with this Magician energy, taking this in, with this Death card, this is powerful energy. Because this is letting me know, like, part of your creation process has been you acknowledging that you, because I feel like you're the one in control of this. Yeah, I mean, it might be wrong, right? You could just be dealing with it. Like, this is more, could just be symbolizing, like, you've been having to like release a lot um of, like things have coming into a lot of like a lot of closure for you um areas or a lot of like loose ends being tied up i say this with this page of swords coming in here um page of swords usually represents like kind of some kind of uh rocky i don't want to say it's rocky communication but it's communication that's kind of not comfortable usually it's more so just like uh Having like this, I associate it as like having like those tough conversations, um, you know, but that is still in the dynamic of talking to somebody, right? Um, I do get this sense though, that it is associated because I'm trying to remember back in your last weekly reading, Aries, and I'm pretty sure you're getting like closure in the sense of like, uh, 
someone in, in your life that you were stressing about that you didn't feel like you knew where you stood. Um, Page of Pentacles comes in as well as like an affirmation of communication being like reached out. Now, I don't know if it, this is you reaching out to them, Aries, where it's like you communicate with them and then you get this, like you have some tough conversation with somebody about something and that gives you some closure right and then you have this four of wands coming into this is kind of like the promised land card right Aries this is like walking you know this is where I always like to say this is the card or where it's like it's always been in front of you you just had to start walking forward and so um with this energy here it seems to be like whatever like whatever this page because like I feel like these two pages dynamic this is a power powerful dynamic for especially when it's like under the death card umbrella uh, Aries, because then I see this as like a, a fresh start with somebody. It's like you're having a fresh start in some capacity. And I know I'm speaking in terms of a person, but I do get the sense that it is about a person, especially with this magician card. I feel like somehow a person's like related towards your creation process. And I feel like that's part of the reason as to why uh, I keep just getting the sense of a person. Because normally I like to try to have it all be, I like to try to cover messages for whether it's involving a person or just a specific opportunity. But I do feel like it's involving a person of some type that um, you Aries get some type of closure about where it's just like then it seems like through you getting because i think i swear i wish i do so many readings aries so I w it's impossible for me to just constantly be able to reference um i sound like i'm like this like, is like doing readings for 12 zodiac signs like my 12 children um trying to remember all their names uh but i'm pretty sure it is this is like a continuous message from before where it's just like you're getting some type of closure in a situation which just really releases the weight off of your shoulders areas um and allows you to create and i kind of see this in a way where it's like because of this three pentacles card Aries coming in as your current energy this is letting me know of an energy of this is like a collaborative energy right this is working usually work like you see in this card there's more than just one person here so um i do feel like again like some type of person is connected towards you being able to have this collaborative energy because this is your current we talked about your past energy and all of that right and then we have to remember your objective card aries um where it was talking about like um that three of wands like you started seeing like progress in something and started seeing like forward movement and i just i don't know I do get this sense that it's like through you getting some type of closure or like just sense of knowing where you stand with the person or with this three of pentacles just really allows you to create whether it's with them or just like now that like you don't have to stress about it anymore areas you just are able to create in your own right it's just I it's interesting so pull this one as well yeah so let's look at these clarifiers. Let me get these clarifiers set up for you properly, Aries. So the clarifiers that we have going on for you, Aries, for your Three of Pentacles is the Fool card, as well as the Seven of Swords, the Tower card, and then the Chariot card. So yeah, it's almost like... I see this Tower card... Uh, areas as like a cycle being completed like i see this is kind of like the uh crumbling of especially with the seven of swords this is a card of usually feeling like overwhelmed i'm saying overwhelmed as i'm like overwhelming myself with these cards trying to manage them these two cards right here it's something that you were feeling overwhelmed about with the seven of swords i feel like is attached to, the, to this tower card where it's just like you're completing this like cycle um whether it's just like you know i don't know the dynamic that you had with this person before but it's almost like it healed something in you um that was just like the final puzzle piece that you needed to allow yourself to move forward almost aries it's very interesting and then it's from that energy i feel like this is you you know you have all you have that tower moment right you have like you are carrying all those groceries, right? In that seven of swords, right? I always like to see this as trying to like carry too many groceries at once. So you can only make, so you make only one car ride, car trip to the car, uh, right? 
and you're just tripping over yourself like the tower card is just like doing away it's just like strike a lightning just by doing away with it and then coming out of those ashes aries you come out as the fool where you are ready to try anything where you're ready to explore you're really just out here ready to just put yourself out there really um aries this is where it's just like again this sense of being like all right i tried things this way and i've tried things that way and you know now like you're just ready to try you're ready to hear any new advice right you're ready to try anything new right it's just like all right like let me try it your way universe right and then and then when you're just finally open you're just like you're you know what let me just try it your way universe you stop trying to fight it stop trying to have control of the situation stop telling yourself that you know how things are going to be right then this is when the chariot comes this is when you get your spiritual uber honey right because i say the chariot only comes in for an individual Aries when uh, they are on the right path, right? Because the chariot is divinely sent. They're not going to just send it to you if you're going down the wrong path. You know, that doesn't make sense. They're not going to help you uh, at a faster pace <laughs> going down the wrong path. So I really do just get the sense that the more you just like, especially with that Eight of Swords and like your uh, uh, objective card energy that you yourself were feeling trapped in this situation it's like through the self-realization of where it's just like realizing that you're not like you're realizing that things just are different through how that works out with that page of pent or pa yeah page of pentacles and that page of swords aries um three of wands coming out again <laughs> for you uh yeah i do just get this sense that you're just getting some type of closure in a situation that really just releases such a weight off of your shoulders that really just allows you to just blossom justice card comes in as your future energy here uh so this is a card of bringing things into a balance uh aries so let's get some uh you know this is already i kind of feel like this is kind of self-explanatory what we we're saying i've been saying the entire time with weight being lifted off your shoulders uh truth really aries so let's just let's pull some clarifiers see if this like tells us anything different uh than what we were thinking before So, let me set up these cards again, Aries, for you. So, the clarifiers that we have coming in for your Justice card, uh, Aries, we have the Three of or yeah, Three of Wands continually following you. Really, just this constant thing of where it's like you're going to continually see puzzle pieces adding up. Aries, continually seeing good signs, right? Uh, you have the Lovers card, beautiful. You have the Three of Cups. Come on now. And then you have the Five of Wands. And the Fool card following you. So, yeah, really just such an affirming message of what happens when things come into balance for you. It feels like you're going through, you have like one more speed bump to go through. I am going to be honest, Aries. It does seem like you, because for that tower moment to happen that we talked about, I know I kind of like lighted through that part, um, Aries. Um, but it does seem to be like you have to have like one more cleansing moment, one thing that just like really like snaps everything together, right? Especially with this Five of Pentacles, uh, not Five of Pentacles, Five of Wands here. Um, I do kind of just see the sense of where something that like some type of that where there was conflict at one point, um, it being healed. Right, and then you have these two cards, the Three of Cups, the Celebration card, and the Lover's card. It's like the deepening, you know, you feel deep closer to this person, that you feel like you can trust them. Uh, Three of Cups, you celebrate with them, right? And again, it's just like this sense of freedom, the celebration, and just being like, it's almost just like, you know, if we're going to just like, I'm thinking of Pirates of the Caribbean now, for whatever reason, because I use that ship reference, um, Aries. It's almost just like um, your ship, uh, you know how, like, um, in Pirates of the Caribbean, or, like, you would imagine in, like, any pirate story where it's just, like, um, resources are low, like, the beer is tainted, or, like, whatever, whatever, whoop -de -whoop -de. you all get that detail, right? And so then there becomes, like, conflict on the ship, right? 
that conflict on the ship and really nothing it's nothing really personal no one's actually like hating each other anything like that it's nothing actually personal it's just the fact that it's like y'all been out in the ocean for months and y'all haven't seen land for days right and so or weeks months <laughs> so and then because the resources are low everyone's stressed out like what have you and then it's almost like through this theory of wands it just like a lot like think, through seeing that land that's when the conflict uh resolves itself that's when it's just like you get that closure again celebration lover's card like you can't paint a better scene than this uh aries so definitely th this week be on the lookout to see pay attention to the breadcrumbs this week pay attention uh aries to what it is that your three ones moment will be because i do feel like well yeah you can see that land it's not promised to you you still have to go towards it right you still have to go into that direction but i do kind of get this sense to remember from the eight of swords um and that page of swords and that page of pentacles this communication needs to happen now remember it was attached to your magician card so magician card is the one that's actually taking themselves like the magician isn't waiting the magician is the archetype of them creating their reality so off of just like tarot it kind of implies that like if it, you know if the person scenario that resonates with you is what i just see you the one you you taking these active steps right with chariot card coming in out again i see it as you taking active steps towards like getting that closure towards like yeah so that's all the cards that I have for you, my beautiful Aries. If you enjoyed this reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below. Um, as well, Aries, I would like to ask for you to give this video a like and subscribe if you did enjoy this reading. Also, I do all the weekly readings for all the zodiac signs, Aries. So if you have a friend that's in the tarot, or even if they're not, darling, uh, I would love for you to share my videos with them and maybe they'll find a message that resonates with them as well. But until next time, Aries, I love you so much. Bye.